What's up, Square Pimp Brigade? Uh, on this episode, we had the infamous Vic Henley. Mm. We talked the, about the expectations of men, why men actually marry multiple times, how men fuck it up once they've already yeah. got a great relationship. Um, we also talk about why men should never ask for a relationship for the title of a boyfriend, expressing your feelings, and dealing with the history of cheating. Yeah. Um, we had a good time this with This was Vic. a fun one, man. It was a really good a one. one. I was oh, trying well, to get Vic on, Vic on for a while. So. Love Vic a lot. Good dude. Um, also, uh, don't forget to rate and review us yeah. on iTunes. Um, you follow can, us on all all our uh, follow us stuff, on Twitter, Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Twitter and all that. And also, if you want a phone consultation, hit me on save me at gmail.com. Let's get into it. This is a goodie. You, you, you are now tuned in to Beige Fella. More importantly, <laughs> bitches ain't shit. <laughs> Man, bingo. I've been reading bitches my whole life. That's my job. That's why I. If you have any problems, this shit is real. Y'all think Neil knows what the fuck he's doing? There's no real girl code. It's, Whoa. it's what I call Whoa. bitch politics. <laughs> Don't women want most of all? More. More. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is they want. Boys, it's time to join the movement. GYP, get, 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 get your balls back. They don't understand this. I'm giving you the best of me so that I can fuck you. But yeah. once that's over, the contract is over. No, right. It's wrong. 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 Everything your mama said, wrong. Fuck that bitch, too. But this is some stuff I pulled out of the Bible. Now, I don't believe in the Bible. I don't. And then the Lord said, Timothy, yeah. 211 to 15, let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. Shut your mouth. Mouth. <laughs> Oh shit! Mm. It's about to go down. We are in the motherfucking pimp cup, and I am excited. Oh. Well, final. If yeah, final. <laughs> I mean, this this show right here. Uh huh. Let's talk about it before about we get it? into it. What would you because, say? Because because <laughs> we have a special guest, right? And um, Us, what? what does that make the show? Yeah, this makes this show a special show. <laughs> what? We have a special guest. Now I have said this before that this is a special show. Approximately 150 times. In yeah, a row. but but this one. Uh huh. This is a special show. This time. You mean it. You you know what? You would agree with me. Cause Absolutely. You love this guy. Absolutely. About to bring up. He's uh, one of my favorite people to hang out with. Oh, my God. He is... Uh uh, I'm not even going to introduce him yet. First of all, Mara, how are you doing? Are you, are you ready for this thing to go down? <laughs> I, I was born ready. Is, are you about this life? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm about this life? At yes. the end of the day. At the end of the day, I'm about this life. Uh, at the end of the day, <laughs> you go to bed. You go to sleep at the end of the day. Yeah, at the end of the day, I usually take a, a little rest. A rest, right. <laughs> mm. Mm. So let's do this, okay? When you're up, you're about that life. You're about that <laughs> After you're taking a nap. You about that life? If I'm not napping, I'm about that about, life. That's, I all, you. That's, all, I gotcha. that's all you can ask. And Harry, are, are you are you ready for this? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm a little worn out. I'll Why? be honest with you. Why? Would I spent. That be? You know what I did the entire day? What? I spent the entire day trying to keep these gators down. Difficult. I had a tough time doing it, man. People say pimp, pimping ain't easy. Mm -hmm. I would say, but it gets easier. It does. With practice, most importantly. Uh, how's my little son? I'm good, chilling. You good? Yeah. Working on little life. wrist locks earlier today. That's it. We'll you know, just show you how to back. break somebody's arm. That's always the necessary the, things to know. Gotta know. Never know when you might have to unhinge a jaw. And jaws needs unhinging. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. So many. Now let me let me talk about this this guest I'm about to bring you. This dude, uh, funny, 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 funny dude. Um, Don't oversell it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Funny. I'm not. I'm not overselling it. I know what I'm talking about. Here. Uh, com what, 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 Comedy Central? Yes. I don't know. I've done. Yes. yes. I'm old. I've been doing this Letterman, for 30 years. 30 years. Letterman, Letterman, Letterman Tonight Show. Tonight Show H everything. HBO. Colgate Comedy Hour. BET, Apollo. <laughs> yes. Just All of it. Every bit of it. Public Access. He did the own. PBS. He did Oprah Channel. Right. He, he did the Oprah own Channel. Network. <laughs> I reenacted the uh, Ice Cube, Where Are They Now? Yeah. <laughs> and a uh, really good friend of mine, um, sort of an undercover pimp, I would say. Mm. We've had conversations, so I'm sure. really looking forward to get into no. this. Iceberg Slim is one of my favorite books of all time. How could it not it's be? One my, somebody gave it to me for Christmas like 25 years ago, and, and it was, it was the, one of the best stocking stuffers <laughs> I've ever gotten. Give it, up, give it up for Vic Henley, y'all. Yes. Give, give it up for Vic Henley. One of my favorite people to hang out with. Yes. Yes. I don't I'm even feeling. drink. 
and I consider it right. Rick a good But you will have a body. drink with me. You will have a drink with me. Absolutely. Yes. Occasionally. Uh, you, every once in a while, he'll have a drink. Harry, Harry, Harry don't drink. No, not, not he really. Doesn't. I've seen him fake like he was nursing a crown royal. Yeah, he'll, yeah, yeah. he'll, 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 he'll drink a water but and call it vodka. But here's the thing. I will go the distance. I will hang. <laughs> no, he'll sit around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I will hang. Yeah, yeah. He don't give a fuck. I'll listen to Vic tell Chuck Berry stories at four in the morning. I don't give a fuck. Who wouldn't? Yeah, yeah. Is that where you get all your Chuck Berry stories from? Some of them. We share some Chuck Berry stories. Yes, everyone. absolutely. Every, uh, any, Vic, Vic's great with music. Like any music thing, Vic's got some insane story about James Brown owning, being a landlord. Oh, all of that. The, well, the James Brown meltdown story is just one of the greatest stories in oh music my God. history. Which when he melts one? down, the thing that got him in trouble, the thing that got him sent to jail, the, 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 the white people shitting in his toilet, the thing that snapped oh, him. Do you remember That's the interviews the he did? Yes, where he, the interviews. You know, James, James Brown went to jail. I don't right. know he went yeah. to jail. Okay. I know it was... The reason he went to jail is he had a group of buildings in Augusta, Georgia, where he's from. You know they from. did this in the movie. Yeah, it's all in the movie. It's completely yeah, true, yeah, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's completely true. And He had a group of offices, yeah. and he had a private bathroom in his office, and then there was a real estate agency and an insurance company, and they had a bathroom out in the hallway. And when he wasn't around, he was hardly ever there. He was hardly ever at his office. Uh -huh. was, but he, God damn it, he told him, stop fucking pissing and shitting in my <laughs> toilet. Stay out of my goddamn bathroom. <laughs> and, they, and one of them kept saying, Sneaking in there and do it. So he comes in there one day, and just kicks the door up with a shotgun and starts firing. Him. They all lose their goddamn minds, call the cops on him. He runs to the car. They chase him. They shoot all four of his tires out, but, but he still won't stop. So he's just on the rims. He's going like 13 miles an hour. There's a cop car on all four sides of him. There's one in each, one in front, one in behind, one on the left, one on the right. They've shot out all the tires, but he still won't pull over. So they've just got to go around. It's the slowest high speed chase ever for like two fucking hours. Hours around Boogerville, Augusta, Georgia, <laughs> and they're just trying to keep it. And he's on PCP. He's the, oh, the reason man. he's doing this is because he's on PCP and other shit. Right. And then, they, so they're just keeping him from hurting himself, and he's just on the rims going around town. <laughs> and then he finally just fucking stopped and got out. And but that's the whole <laughs> goddamn favorite story. part that's is that they James, James Brown is the, your. They did that in the movie. I James Brown is movie. your landlord. James Brown is your landlord. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, when he's not being the busiest man in show business, he was actually had an office. He had an office. That's why he was the hardest. And he didn't show. like white people sitting in his toilet. <laughs> he, like, he told him. Listen, and he told him. <laughs> told him, stay out of my goddamn back. God, you can get your, hint, your jaw unhinged for sitting in somebody's toilet. <laughs> we do need you know, to which is reasonable. It's yeah, completely reasonable. reasonable. You've got your own bathroom your that he built bathroom. for him. Yeah. Yeah. He said, just don't <laughs> shit in my toilet. <laughs> I got one rule. One rule only. <laughs> That's just like comedy. Keep your ass yeah. off my porcelain. It's just like comedy. Just one rule. One rule. Right. Don't, Don't steal, steal jokes. Sure. Yeah. Or you I, wear I, banjo. I, I do your time. I'm a believer in do your time. Do your time. I, I yelled at Mick Foley. You, I, 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 I yelled listen at the fucking that. wrestler Mick Foley. Yeah, I and that was my only point there, too. I'm like, I go, <laughs> if you come in and say you're going to do 25, then that's Dude, fine. That's then fine. you do 25. Don't come in and say you're doing five and do 20 fucking five. If right. you're invited, I don't get to run down to the arena and all of a sudden fly off the top rope in the wrestling yeah. world so you don't come to my world and fuck me up and I won't come to your world he didn't let Mick forget no, it he was mad about it too he got really angry <laughs> oh because you fuck him I, I kept well, saying I kept saying I go then well, do your goddamn it all, it all time you're coming into the comedy to Mick world Foley. two lessons don't steal jokes do your fucking time <laughs> Mick right? Foley did apologize <laughs> and, you know, and then Vic saw him a second time and still and went back to it, it. <laughs> I went, to went back to it I go okay fine 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 and he Mick wandered like, he wandered around the studio at another radio place and came wandering what about people have like 20 minutes but they don't finish the 20 that's just, okay yeah, you that's can bail that's, you can that's bail. fantastic that's called yeah, that's called, yeah, yeah that's called, you can be the human vagina yeah, but and bail but oh, don't bail <laughs> I did a I did those comic view auditions and you're supposed to do 10 minutes and this guy bailed at 6 and just got off the stage well, not for and, a left, TV show. and yeah. left the stage yeah. for four yeah. minutes oh, empty. Yeah, and nobody for, was yeah. there. So yeah. Now, for a TV but show, it, they're counting on you to yeah. fill that time. You can't do that. You can bail any other time. You gonna, can't bail on a TV gonna show. if you're going to bail early, make sure you yeah. got eye contact yes. with the host. With the host. Yes. With the, with the yeah. host. Yeah, but oh, the, sure. and the other one is what? What's the other one? Don't steal jokes. Don't steal and, jokes. And do your time. Just Something do your that time. Will Sylvans doesn't know about. You, you That's know, just, I don't know if you heard. Do your time. Do your time. He doesn't know that. This yeah. is uh, four weeks in a row. Four or five weeks in a row. <laughs> I just don't know This what's is your new on. cause. I just keep That's it. It's, look, I, you got Oh, and King Carter? I'm sorry. You got to you got to do it. You got in the video on that one. You got to you got to scream them out, right? You got to Vic when they steal the jokes, you got to scream oh, them I out. Oh, I know. And I, I hate it. It's true. But people have asked me before they're like, "Does that exist?" And I'm like, "It for sure exists." You it have totally to scream them out. Within, you can't you, let it go. Yeah. Now, only two rules in comedy, but for managing bitches Many, many, many rules. Many, many. <laughs> two many oh, rules. I wish oh it was only God. two rules. Oh, I, this is why I'm, 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 I'm really getting this it. operation. 
Not because I need it. I just need some time off <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I can write all the rules down. That's what you, I One day you're going to fake your own death like D.B. Cooper or whatever. Do it. I'm going to do it. I've been saying that to everybody. I was like, look, if I die, right? Yeah. I you motherfuckers know. will be like. It'll be intestate. You know, he, It'll be gone, right. He fucking lived his life. That's how you want to be. When you go out right, Vic, you, wanna, you, know sure. what, you oh, want God people to yeah. say, hey. All right. If I die, people might go, oh, that's fucked up. But they would go, yeah, but. Yeah, he was all right. He did he his thing. Fine, right. He exactly. wrote it till the wheels Absolutely. fall off. That's all that matters. Exactly. Mm. So here's, here's how me and Vic. Uh, well, Vic, me and Vic, is always, oh, we've always been friends. Always been super mm. cool. Um, but the whole, we talked about it before, the whole Lenny the Lenny story. The Lenny Marcus. Lenny Marcus told us we had Lenny. Lenny, and I helped Lenny through his situation. Adjustment period. Yeah, a little adjustment. And, and Lenny is pimping hard. He's yeah. rolling it. He's he killing is, it. He is. I haven't heard from Lenny. When I see him, he goes, hey, Dante, how are you? That's it. Yeah. No he's questions. Good. He's got no you, questions. He helped him a lot. He's, a, he, he's on it. I know he he's is. got he's got fur on. He wears no <laughs> fur. I saw him with some some red velvet some loafers pastels, on. Some pastels. I've seen him in some pastels. <laughs> if you want to check out episode one hundred and three, we go over the whole Lenny Marcus. The thing. whole Lenny Marcus thing. He's wearing a I mean, thick and thin socks. Yeah, I, I seen him, him shopping for ascots the other day. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, yeah, ascots are always good. Yeah. I was like monocle, <laughs> nice monocle touch, and ascot. nice touch, nice touch, going all out. But he, Lenny had a rough time and. Uh, I helped Lenny through it, and then it was kind of a buzz. Like Vic's click is like Van Horn and Lenny and uh, and all those dudes, and they kind of got around about me helping Lenny. Right, and it was Lenny's incredulous that this has worked, and yeah. we're all going to fuck. That always works. He just told yeah. you nothing. <laughs> Lenny's coming back and telling us, and he's saying do this, and we're all like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like the, I, the last guy to convert to Christianity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He, did, he's like, he did what? It's great. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, I know. He can turn water into wine. <laughs> Have you heard this shit? This is incredible. Raises, Three days after he's dead. Raises the dead. He's back. Heals the sick. Yeah. Blessed are the meek. Yeah, we got it. We got it, champ. Just because you quit drinking doesn't mean the rest of us <laughs> haven't already been on board. But, you know, that was also the combo funny part is he did not expect all yeah. of us to like, yeah, dominoes. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. exactly what you should do. You yeah, should yeah, do yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's how and there wasn't one dissenter in the crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of the guys married. It didn't have nothing to do Except with Van their, Horn. Van so, Horn was Van well, Horn. Van Horn's was, married. He's got to watch it a little right, bit. Right, right. But, but, but let me he tell you. Rules let me, apply. I got to get Van Horn on here because here's, here's, here's what Van Horn did for me. Van Horn said, you know, yeah, you know, that stuff works, yeah, but when you're married, and you can't, you can't, and I go, so I, I started this whole process of me thinking about what are the difference of the rules when you're married? Like, can everything apply? And, All right, and, okay, and, okay. And, and it just, and I said, well, I don't, I don't, you know, it's, it's questionable. I mean, it's a question that needs to be asked. And so I started asking myself this question. And what I came up with, it's they even apply more <laughs> yeah. when Only you're further. married. Yeah. Well, now, here's, here's why. They, well, I, when, when, go, she doesn't you, give him any grief, though. They get, right, I still right, think she, he's doing it. I think he does it. You have to do it. Unknowingly. Can't say it out loud as much. Yeah, you, right, you right. Know, but the same level of don't take any shit. Yeah, doesn't yeah, matter if you're yeah, married yeah, or yeah. single. There's right, limits right. of shit you're supposed to take from Absolutely. another human being, period. period. You're right. You're right. <laughs> right, right. Like if a white man keeps shitting in your toilet, right. you, you got to gotta gotta immediately put up your the foot 410. down. Load up 410, get some shells, go to Walmart. And guess what? <laughs> I guess shit. whose bathroom was untouched <laughs> after that? <laughs> James, motherfucking no, Brown. Nobody was <laughs> there. I left a nickel on this sink, <laughs> and I came back three months yeah, later, there's still, still there. a nickel on this sink. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the movie, he yeah. goes, all right, who the hell shit? <laughs> It in my toilet, <laughs> and this lady gets up. And she 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 big fat white lady, and he's like, "All right, big fat white lady, you uh, I guess you gotta go when you gotta go." <laughs> I understand with her. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But what was what, so Tom was okay. instrumental in me thinking about it in the context marriage. of marriage. Perfect, and, and um. And and what I started thinking about is when you're married, you have a tendency, you do so much more. Like when you're in a boyfriend girlfriend situation and you live in separate homes, you you know there's things that you do. Sure. But there's things it's that capped you, kind of sort right, of right because you 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 don't live. But right. when you live with somebody, oh yeah, right. There. As a man, when you're a good husband, you do endless things. Sure. That you don't even consider. 
a favor when you do it. One of the rules we say on Base Philip is anytime you do something for a woman more than three times, it's no longer a favor, it's an obligation. It's an expectation. Yeah, you, you, you're in. <laughs> You've just raised in. the bar There's a little three. higher, exactly. dickhead. So <laughs> <laughs> you, you are now the yes, plumber. You're now responsible. Right. Yeah. Correct, it's, Mr. Fix. Your third gyp, this is your third it. drippy right. faucet. Right. You are now the plumber. That's correct. Mm. So um, and you're expected to I do agree, that. Yes. And on top and, of that, there's also women think there's no when you're married, like a gotcha. You, you're not going anywhere. Oh yeah, and yeah. you can also go. You right. can also right. leave. That's a, but but even in the context before you leave, one. So when you're living with somebody, there's so much that I think that you do on a on a day to day basis when you're married because you're with this woman every single day, every yeah. day, every every hour of that you're not outside, you're back home, and so there's so many things you do as a man that we do just because this is my wife. I'm taking care of my wife. Right. When you start to list those things, right? And if you're you're so a lot of the a lot of the technique is the takeaway. So a lot with, with Lenny, it was like here's this woman who's who's passive aggressively trying to control him. And then the thing is, okay, this is you're trying to get my attention with this behavior. Right. I'm no longer not only am I not giving you this attention, <laughs> right. but you're not gonna see me. No, exactly. Right? So so the thing right. that you wanted to happen is to, it it doesn't not only does it happen, but right. it goes to the extreme of now I'll take it away, you, period. You it's made now it counterintuitive. Yeah. You made it worse. Right. So but what happens I think when you're married is there's so many things that we take as men we take for granted that we do on a day-to-day basis. My boy, going through, I've been talking about him. He's actually going through a divorce. You know, I, I said this a couple of times, but I was fucking, it's a great, it's a great analogy. Married this woman, took her out of Washington Heights, uh, took her out of, built a house in, in up in the in sticks. Oh, I know this story. Right, I do. We've talked about right. this. Circular, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is no, this oh, is new. This okay, is new. All right, all right. Circular heated driveway, row of trees around the backyard, ride on mower, the whole shit. She uh, she, she she hadn't worked for ten years. Don't not for ten right, years. Right. He said, "Don't work. I'll right. work sixty hundred hours a week <laughs> sure. to pay you. Can all you got to yeah, do is right. watch the kids." Right. And then all, out of the blue, she goes, I, I want a divorce. Right. Not happy. Not, She's happy. not happy. Not happy. She's not happy. Can't put my I finger don't like, on it. I don't like the fact that when I fuck up, you get angry and yell at me. <laughs> 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 you think I'm stupid? That's that. fair. <laughs> <laughs> Depends think, on what kind of yelling you're doing. <laughs> you, think that's, you think I'm stupid? No, I just think you didn't know what the fuck you were doing. And this is, I tell you to do it one way. Right. So um, there's the Cinnabon story. I don't want to go over the Cinnabon story, but it's real short. It's a quick one. It's all right. So he had a problem with her. He called me up. He had a problem with her going to the airport. She'd been late everywhere all the time. Always late. All right. And so I said, well, stop fighting with her to be on time. He goes, "Uh," so he takes my advice. They go in. She says, I'm hungry. They're just there in time for the flight. I'm hungry. She goes, uh. Well, hungry? What do you What do you want? She goes, I want a Cinnabon. He goes, okay, go get a Cinnabon. She goes, he goes, you want to sit down and eat it? She goes, yeah, I want to sit down and eat. Sits down and see. They get to the gate. Wow, I don't think this is the right gate. Nobody's here. No, this is the right gate. No, this is it. This is the right gate. <laughs> we missed the well, let me ask her. The flight's gone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the flight's gone. Why are you eating Cinnabon? The flight left. But you don't like me yelling at you. So. <laughs> I'm not going to yell at you. We're going so to sit here uh, for six hours. Maybe and make it, hopefully. Well, they, well, he had to pay. And he right. paid $300 yeah. to reschedule. Yeah, right, they right. sat in the airport wow. for six hours. Wow, good. He had a limousine picking them up in Miami. Mm-hmm. They blew that. Mm-hmm. They, the, the hotel, they couldn't check in the hotel because it was too late. They had to get another hotel and then move to the other hotel the day later. Right. Oh wow. And but never had a, another never late, late again. Never mm-hmm. late. That's again. great. Never late again. The late person never learns the lesson. No. Usually, that's right. amazing that's, story. Yeah. That's too. Well, good. that's why you gotta. Now that's, the, that's what you gotta do is take a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> that's the equivalent of it's taking a late, shotgun. Don't, he said, "Don't yell and she." He took the. Okay, all yeah. right, you're right. I am not gonna yell and scream. Right. right. <laughs> I will not do anything. Yeah. And I told him specifically not to yeah. yell and scream yeah, yeah. because when you yell and scream, oh, always. Then the argument becomes about you yelling, yelling and screaming, right. not about what the point you're trying to. I know, right? So I said yeah. to him, but I'm surprised. I said, what you should have did was you should have said, listen, I'm, we missed the flight. I'm going home. 
And he goes, you would have blown the tickets. I go, yeah, but you got to understand. I go, how much did you spend for the, for the whole vacation? He goes, 5500 I go, how much did you spend? You lost, you, he would have lost $300 for the, for the right. first day of the hotel, which yeah. he lost anyway. He would have gained the three hundred dollars that he would have had to re- reschedule the flight. Sure. He would have lost a thousand, so he would have lost. He'd have lost about a thousand dollars, but he spent fifty five hundred on a vacation. What I do, what I would have done, is gone. Um, there's no way I'm going to this vacation. There's no way that I'm going to get past the fact that we look, we missed this flight because of your Cinnabon. So now we're going to go home and look at each other for seven days. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the vacation. Ah, that's going to be our vacation. That's a lot of fun. And I take instead of the instead of the fifty five a pina colada every and, and morning look and, look and look at you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what we would have been doing. Right. You could be skiing. It's right. 10 a.m. Right. Hey, we we would have been we would have been on our way to our spy appointment yeah, right now. Exactly. But instead, we're going to watch Maury Povich. Right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now you and I would have ordered Cinnabons every day, <laughs> every day, every uh, meal. Right. And I, and we're going to get Cinnabon T-shirts. <laughs> we're gonna go sit, and we're gonna just we're gonna hang out hang in Cinnabon out the food court. We're in Cinnabon t shirts. Hang out in the food court. So right he says, but yeah, but you lose the flight money. I said, yeah, but if you didn't go, you gained thirty five hundred dollars for not going on a vacation, some shitty vacation that you probably didn't want to go on in the first place. You were only going on because she wanted she wanted to go someplace anyway. And you sit around, then then you never have a problem. Oh. You never have a problem again. But I mean, his him. You know, spending the three hundred bucks, it, it worked. I can see that either. Right? I love your answer, though. Yeah, I, 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 I always do it. I, I want to. You could be getting a mani pedi. <laughs> yeah. It's two no, thirty yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. You would be getting a mani pedi. Let me show you. I would be itinerary. taking surfing lessons. <laughs> right. for nothing. But instead, we're gonna watch Judge Judy. Right. <laughs> we're gonna be swimming with dolphins right now. But no, 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 no. no. Judge Joe Brown. <laughs> Coming on right now. I'm gonna listen That's to Ellen. Show you this. Uh, this uh, itinerary of the spa you would have been getting your, your <laughs> hot rock right. massage right right at this point but you know what no what uh-uh. yeah we're gonna we're gonna no. go to fucking target here's another here's, what, here's a house butter. club some butters on here's sale here's another how i met your mother <laughs> <laughs> six o'clock so same 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 situation later she goes i want to i'm tired of you yelling at me telling right, me what right, to do right, same right. situation and i want a divorce and what he does, I, he calls me up and says, whatever, I said, she wants a divorce. Give her a divorce. Sure. Give it to her now. Yes. Right now. Yes, absolutely. Two days later, the, the bell rings. A, a process server comes and serves her with the divorce yes. papers. Oh, they hate what? that. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't have no. Give them what they, the minute they ask for something shitty, do it. Get, do it. it. Like, it usually doesn't work out well. That usually does not work out. You don't have to do it mean. Just no. go, okay, I heard you. You told I heard me. You, I you said what you I'm did not do. want me in your life. Your words to me, I'm tired of this. You don't want me in your life. That's okay? what divorce means. So fuck me for moving on that then. Fuck me for moving <laughs> oh, on yeah. that. Oh, now I'm <laughs> mad as shit. I'm the dick for doing what you and said. Then, <laughs> absolutely. And then, then it was a situation where she she actually went and she was, she was angry uh. because she got served. And then he goes... Uh, I said, so he calls me up and he says, oh, now all the things that you do as a husband, stop doing it. So he'd come home, you know, on the weekend they would do family stuff. He'd gas the car up, change the oil. Right. Uh, you know, get, have the car Whatever. detail. None of that. Now, oh, there's no gas in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're getting divorced. There's no gas in the car. <laughs> your maid there's, has moved out. We, we, <laughs> we don't do any of this. But oh, the car to check your engine. Yeah. Light is on. Yeah, well, go right. get an appointment right. and go sit. I'd be meeting the mechanic and go yeah. meet the mechanic and see what. It, and I said everything that she does that she take takes for granted. Make sure that she understands because here's what a lot of times you get into a situation where you get an ungrateful woman about that. And what she does is she uses you as the transition for the next relationship. Yeah, absolutely. By using you for all the things that you did, minus fucking you. <laughs> So you're my husband, only thing I don't fuck you no more. And then I, you transition me, you make it. Then it just, uh, his, her mother had moved in, old Dominican lady. <laughs> she re- neglected to tell her that 
they were getting divorced. Because she doesn't want to hear from her mother that she blew up a nice right, yeah. spot. You so, dumb bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. dumb bitch. This man just yeah, yeah, built yeah. you a place. Because yeah. the mother was all about the mother was all about the the, the husband. Oh yeah, because he built the house. She's I, living- was, I was married twice and through both divorces. I'm talking to both in laws, and I, it made me so so happy. Yeah. But both times I had to almost flip around and go, hey hey hey, it's your daughter. You should be mad at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you giving me support. I love you too. I got it. But right. it's your daughter not wow. mine it's your child wow. you're coming i love it thank you mm. so much i appreciate yeah. what you're saying don't ever let her you don't let her know you're saying so Vic, yeah, yeah. married twice you married you twice and and how sure. long were you married the first time first time i was married nine years and the second time i was married three and why what made you do it the second time oh, i just got all called up in the pussy <laughs> Fair enough. Just the old Fair enough. Smoking hot, good looking, and put a campaign of pussy on that fucking Hitler would have folded. Nobody. Propaganda. Nobody, anyone she would have wanted to marry, she, this woman could have got them to marry. She's just working your just Fabulous. Just sucking your dick. Anything. Sucking your dick. Not at all. Just anything you <laughs> Cook. Everything. Everything. Dream come true. And how did the dream uh, end? Oh, just got, she got tired of it all. She just know. stopped. Yeah. I guess she got tired of faking it. She thought she was faking it. I don't like her anymore. We should have just been friends. All right. Fine. And you okay. were like, all right. All right. Good. All right, get out. <laughs> Uh, Bless your I heart. I had to sit there with her for a month while she tried to find a place. So that was the only. That was a bad month. See? Transition. That was a bad wow. month. Transition. I, I helped her. But it, hey, it all worked out. She had been married before, and her her ex screwed her over. Right. And my ex had sort of gouged me a little bit for money. So we had kind of a handshake deal. Okay. Of, we're not going to get mad. I will do if you don't you gouge don't... me for the money. I will do for you what he did not do. He told her he was right. going to set her up. Get her an apartment, do the first and last, right. have it all set up for her because right. he was gay. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. So he's realized he's gay. She's caught him with other men. She's in shatters about right, the whole right, thing. Right, right. So he's apologizing, going to therapy, trying to fix it. He's going to set her all up. And at the last minute, uh, uh, doesn't about face, uh, gets another woman, moves in the new apartment with her, and just leaves her hanging high wow. and Because you can't, oh listen, why? Because you can't, you can't. You can't set up somebody's apartment and wear Prada. Something <laughs> complicated. Well, he, well, he started looking at that walk-in closet and that shoe rack, and he just couldn't give it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, so when I knew this from being with her, and so I, I'm telling her, I'm like, if you don't fuck me and go heavy hard on the cash, and I, I'm honest with you, we'll, we'll can we can work this out. Right. I go, I'll pay the deposit and get you set up. I will help you get right. over to the new apartment. Everything he did not do, I promise I'll do it. Mm-hmm. And she goes, okay, I promise too. And we had a handshake deal, and like, bang, boom, bang, and it's cool. it so all it fucking cool worked break, out. Though. Easiest pie. Drive by. Easiest Three years pie. of good pussy. Yeah, yeah, and a nice. Well, no, six years together, so about five, about four and a half, five, five years, years of good pussy. Fantastic yeah, yeah. pussy, least, completely worth the, the total. The total didn't cost me ten thousand so. dollars. Oh wow! All right, that's pretty. So worth. two grand a year you know, for his, that. His, that's like a concubine. This is funny. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> a mistress will cost you twice that much. A half decent mistress in a year. So, oh, yeah. Yikes, more. About a year and a half. It was probably, but I said six, about four and a half. But it was only the last year or so. That's just. Bored and tired and mad. Was know. it angry? Was it was it angry? She didn't like her job. It was killing her. And I didn't blame her. And I think that 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 hurt her a lot. And I was trying to help her. And it was one of those things where I'd probably over talk it and make it worse sometimes. You know, like, oh, because she didn't like the job yeah, and you were yeah. kind of on board. Well, no, I didn't know. I was just trying to help her and I talked too much. I would be sitting there, you know, if she's upset about something and is not talking about it, then you don't need dick here going, fuck those son bitches you work with. <laughs> uh, really? I did that yesterday to myself. I don't need you starting it. Well, no, I've been thinking about it. Stop thinking about it. It's not your fucking job. <laughs> So Plus, you're, fix it, you know? you're going wanna, off and yeah, hanging yeah, out with Ron White yeah, and yeah. on a tour bus right, for weeks at a exactly. time. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I think oh. everybody should be as happy as their job. <laughs> right. So I'll go down there. You want me to go down there? No, yeah. I don't want you to go yeah. down there. <laughs> Stay at the casino. Uh, I'll just I'll be Ron. in the motherfucker's office. He'll come back from lunch. I'll be sitting in his office. I can fix this shit. Oh, yeah, no, God. Vic, don't do that. No, yes. don't. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are the most supportive heckler ever. <laughs> it is. Just yelling I and know. shit. I remember when we were divorcing, and I said, I brought it up, and I was ready. It hurt my feelings, but it was true, and I knew it was okay, though. But I said something, I'm like, well, you know... Even even if I've overwhelmed you sometimes on this, seems like more often than not, you always were really sweet and said that I helped more than I hurt, that I was a good listener and I gave right, good right, advice. Right, right. I go, so it was at least 50-50. If I wound you up 50, at least I was there listening 50. Right, she goes, right. no, no, probably like 20-80. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, God damn. Really? 
Yeah, I thought I was doing some good. Yeah, but that's also major. hindsight, man. Yeah, yeah, that's why I didn't care. I, hey, your number, yeah. your call. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I thought I was going to get at least a 50-50. <laughs> you, no. you, you can't go by that. You, can, you can't go by those numbers at the end. You got to do that when your dick is in a <laughs> ass oh, 90, 10, 95. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to do it when your dick is in a You going to get married again, you think? I was shouldn't have never got married either time. But yeah. <laughs> The first time I got married, all my friends were getting married. I think I just jumped on board. Okay. She put a little pressure on me, but everybody, I was like, I'd made it to like 32. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and you're like, well, it's time to be an adult. Well, yeah, it's not right. an adult. But even though I really, you know, I, I, kind of, I, like, you I loved her. her. I was crazy about her, but I didn't want to, yeah, I didn't really want to get married ever. I don't know? think most dudes want to get married. I think we've discussed that. Some do, I, some do. All my friends in high school would sit around the lunch table forever, and not, not daily, but from the ninth grade to the twelfth grade, a couple of times a year it would come up who's yeah. dating somebody who's got a boyfriend. Well, what would you Dante? Where do you want to live? You think one day you'll have a house and some kids and everybody everybody on the fucking planet usually would go, Yeah, but yeah probably so. I was the only there go, What about you, Henley? I'm like, if I don't get out of here, I'm a dead man. That's <laughs> all I know. If I don't get the fuck out of here, I'm dead. That's all I know. I'm not going big picture. Yeah. <laughs> here, yeah. But here's here's the cra- here's the crazy thing too, when you look at um a lot of times, like I have my my um my nephew is a... Uh, uh, he's with this chick that has him locked in. Uh, we don't talk anymore. Oh, haven't yeah. seen his grand. Oh, haven't seen my that. great niece uh. nephew in five years. I haven't sure. haven't seen one of them at all. One of them I haven't seen. Will not bring them into the house. Won't let my mother see the kids. Won't let his mother can't see the kids. Oh, but for a half oh. hour. Uh, a week, um, and I decided that I just wasn't gonna take the, sh- the sure. scraps that right. he was gonna throw. I'm like, sure. I'm, not, I'm not doing yeah. this. No. You know, I fucking changed your diapers. I'm not doing yeah. this. And um, well, his was interesting. I threw his bachelor party, right? <laughs> and he was always a very non-social dude. Um, so he didn't have any friends. Right, of course, none. Sure. Not one. Absolutely. So it was right. me, his brother, uh, a good. Uh, Personal manager, friend of mine, okay. uh, a pimp friend of mine, and five. Oh, we're calling him personal manager. <laughs> personal manager. <laughs> oh, personal personal manager. It's and 2015. F- yeah. <laughs> a life coach, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Life coach. Hands on. Yeah. Public speak. The li- very good on. at public speaking. Public, public speaking. Yeah. Public speaking. Um, <laughs> and five hookers. That's what the party was. God damn. All right. It's more hookers than and people. Yes. <laughs> We're not counting hookers as people. <laughs> I said yes. Um, I said yes. Well, I softened it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> no, probably not. No, they're not. They're a different animal. They're an animal. I'll give you. They're mammal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop, <laughs> they do have stop eggs agreeing and with either hair. one of us. <laughs> Warm so, blooded, maybe. So that is very socially awkward. I'm like, yo. uh... You want to you wanna indulge? You want to fuck one? Can I? <laughs> it's your bachelor party. I'm, your, I'm setting you out. Of course. I, yeah, if I could. Very polite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if I could. That wouldn't be too much trouble. <laughs> kind <laughs> sir. Yes, yes, if I could, <laughs> kind yes, sir. Yes, Please, sir. may I have another? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a little more of that pussy, Maybe sir? Maybe some raspberry dressing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so it was. What was interesting to me is to see when somebody has the uh, when somebody has the 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 opportunity. Yeah. What they do when they have the opportunity. All right. Yeah. Sure. Of course. So given given a chance to given a chance to have more options. So yeah, I, a lot of I mean, like I worked I worked with the phone company twenty years. Yeah. Square dudes, you're supposed to get married. You get married, you have kids. You take, take yeah, right. whatever. But what happens if you what if what happens if you don't have to uh, do that? What if your options are to sleep with multiple women, oh, when and wherever you want? I think if ever, even if you got to do it just for a little bit, I believe it would make every man a better man oh, in absolutely. the long run. If they could, if it's demystified in any way, if you so, just, if every guy could go on about an eighteen-year-old to a twenty-three-year-old, good old five-year pussy run, <laughs> a good, the, just like a the roll, gum, like the gumball run, exactly. Like, a, like it's too good to be true. You like wake up pers- every day, go again. This is fine <laughs> this week. I can't again. believe I'm not Jesus. Am I dreaming? <laughs> She washed like, my feet with her hair. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like a vagina run. 
drum so Whatever you want to call it. Don't thing. those do, what is it? What is the religion or the culture that they get the to Amish. do that for? Yeah, they the, get uh, to Springer. Yeah, no, they get you to just go crazy. For, no, well, they send them away at like sixteen for a year right. or so That's to go crazy wild year. Go experience. Be able to pull it off. And if you want to come back, they want. Yeah. If you want to come back, you can come back and never do it again. Yeah, but, but if you, you want to leave. You leave. Sure. Yeah, but yeah. if you don't have game, you how do you you, right. you can't access. Right, of course. That's what I'm saying. That's when they need to go yeah. through like the early years of stand up when yeah. everybody would just fuck you for no reason. <laughs> is that was that where was I? I don't I was working. I mean people just, I, was, I, was, <laughs> I don't know where you were. I thought we knew each other at this time. I'm pretty sure we didn't know each other. You were probably up a pole somewhere. <laughs> I was I was, I was the up wrong, a pole wrong kind. I was old I was through a pole somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, but yeah, but it's it's given the given the opportunity, then you see the true nature of somebody. Yes, yes, yes. And, and I remember when he told me he was getting married. I was like, "Listen, why don't you hang out with me? Give me six months mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. to show you what your options could be, yeah. and then I will." Uh, and I will uh, without it. And, and then if you still want to get married, get married. Sure. No, nah, well, yo, I, I um, man, it took me a long time to find this one. If I don't have this one, uh, I, I, I don't know when it'll ever happen again. I was like, when the next one, I wanted out. to give long him a DNA test. Yeah, what, what I was throat. like, who the 20? fuck are you? Do you, are you related to me? <laughs> it's none of my blood in you at all. <laughs> <laughs> get this kid a transfusion. <laughs> Girls will marry in a second. Oh yeah, any well, girl. Of course. And what if he had said, I- "I'm not getting married now," and then came back later and said, "Let's get married." What was she gonna do? Go, no, I don't want to marry you. I get married all the time too. If I wasn't responsible for any of the financial burden <laughs> of anything at any given moment, if I could marry somebody and take fifty percent of some chick shit, I would do that. Yeah. I've been married twice. So I do it too. <laughs> no big deal. You've been married twice too. Oh uh, yeah. How old are you? How old was I? How old? Yeah. How old? How old? How I was twenty and twenty six. Okay. There you go. Yeah. I was married once. Ron, Ron White, my friend Ron White, the comedian, he's been married four, and he goes, he had a, he's he, four times. And he has this is out of his act. He goes, I have a, we had a bet with all my cousins on who was going to get married first, and I came in second, fifth, sixth, eighth. <laughs> 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 you should have put the money on place. <laughs> right, exactly. Put him on the come line. Get him on the come line. But it's it's weird because you 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 get situated guys who really think they don't. Have have the options and then those are their options because they don't have any other options but given those options would they have still made those same yeah, decisions I, my brother was number married four and the but it's a, and they all three the first three make it 18 months he had a year and a half deadline on him so what? And it literally was year and a half year and a half year and a half and then he was single for four or five years and then he met the current wife who he's been with for 15 so let years. me ask you this <laughs> what makes a, a, yeah like this is your brother what yeah. makes what makes a guy get married Four times. He claims, now it's just like I said, but he claims all along that like in the first three that he got railroaded. It was more their idea. They kept bringing it up. They wanted to put pressure on him, so he just caved every time. Yeah. And then the, the, the fourth time, the one he's been with for 15 years, is the only one out decision. of four. That, the, 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 it was his what idea first. What about people being accountable for their you know, own decisions? I know, but it's, it's yeah, sure. You can't say that. It's a cop-out in a way. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Well, no one's saying he was raped. You know, it's, <laughs> but it is. Just put the ring on me. Yeah. Camille! Yeah. Just force the ring on me. I'm sorry, lately when I hear the word rape, I have to do Bill That's Cosby. true. It's a mandatory <laughs> thing. Come here! Come that's mm. I got a friend I'm kind of worried about. This kid is kind of, he's all gone about one chick. I think he already bought a ring and everything. He's only 21. Oh, God. God. He's all fucked. Like, his his picture on Instagram is her face. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. And she calls him best friends and, like, oh, her God. pictures and shit sometimes. But it's not, it doesn't look the same. It don't match the infatuation or whatever I was at I was at uh, stand-up and there's this couple married. Married, they were, like, 19 and 21. And I was like, oh. It's probably going to work out. <laughs> and, and the whole audience just fell the fuck out. I did, I did a, a, one time, I thought the Mormons would be afraid of me. And I did one of those NACA conferences where the, the schools in the area, and like eight of the schools in Utah hired Thank me you. to do shows. Really? And I, and I went there, and it was the weirdest thing. They were amazingly fabulous audience. And it was like four and 500 people a show. And every night, I'd see somebody on the front row holding hands with wedding bands on. And they'd be mm. like, and they encouraged them to get married and start having kids at a really early yeah. age. And I, but same thing. I'd be on stage and I'm like, 
All right, please tell me that's not what I'm seeing from the stage up here, that you look like you're 19, that's your 17-year-old wife, and you're a sophomore, and she's a freshman, and y'all are married. It is. Yeah, that's going to work, and they'd all laugh. They, yeah. they never got mad. They were as sweet as they could be. Wow. They were good audiences. But every night, it was the weirdest thing to see 150 married couples. If there's 400 yeah, of them sitting see the there, difference 100 with that. of them are married, and wow. they're 20. Here's, here's the difference with that. You know, it's like it's God's time. way it's, and yeah, to it's get their, married. Yeah, yeah, it's their thing. Yeah. They, to go against that, right. they're going against I know. Oh, that's right. being. Joseph Smith. So said. it's so it, it's. I didn't have sex till I was married, so oh, that's why I thought I was like, we better. You do made this. up though. I did. <laughs> I did some work. <laughs> Got caught up yeah. fast. <laughs> well, my first year of comedy, I was working. All right, there you go. <laughs> They were, it's like she got in the race and it was everybody was already two laps ahead. Right. They're like, who is I this mass up. woman just passing I people on up. the corners? I can catch up. <laughs> 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 I, uh, um, it's, 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 it's funny, but like the whole married thing is taken away to taken away to taken away. But here's the crazy thing. The dude with the, the, the Cinnabon dude, with, right. he, he stopped doing the stuff. Then, then he told her mother. Uh oh. He right. goes. He says, "Listen, I, I've always, fly away. I've always, I've yeah. always." He goes. I said, "I said this is what you tell your mom. Yeah. You tell your stepmother. I've always considered you my other mother. Thanks, right? You've yes. always, yes. you've yes. always helped us. Yes. You've always been an intricate part of this family. Yes. And I just, I, I would just be. I would, I would. It would hurt me to not tell you what's going on. Your daughter asked for a divorce, and we're giving it. I'm, I'm giving it to her, and I just." I don't want you no, want you to just be left out because we're selling the house. You're not going to be able to stay here anymore. And um, wow, I just wanted to let you know. And if there's anything I can do to help yeah, you, yeah, sure, by all means. Yep. Oh, so, I bet. So my, that was a nice shit. Mama oh, went perfect. right in I'm, on her. I'm you sure. dumb bitch. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, bye. What the problem is? He cheating on you? No. no. Yeah. Is he beat you? No. 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 What's Are you the, fucking crazy? Can't pay, the bills, can't pay the bills? Can't keep a roof over your head? Can't support your children? Can't help you around the house? No, 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 no. no, no. no. What is it? I don't know. I'm just well, tired of it. I just him. don't yeah. want him to. I don't, I don't like him yelling at me happy. when I fuck up. I'm not happy. When I make mistakes, he gets angry. Anymore. Oprah said I should be my own person. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could be your own person <laughs> now, in your own apartment. That's right. With your own utensils. <laughs> exactly. With your fork. One <laughs> fork. Right. Two fork. Your own standard definition <laughs> TV. You have eight. You have <laughs> you have a it's bubble sp- bag TV. Yeah, exactly. No flat screen. Yeah. Flip, flip basic phone, basic yeah. cable. No cable. <laughs> no cable. Flip he's just, phone. He's just watching Channel 5 all day. Oh, yeah, yeah. All day. More Channel 5. Judge Judy. <laughs> so, he, so he was, I was like, look, just pull away. Do everything that you would not normally do. Start looking out for yourself. Yeah. He hook, I helped another dude that listens to the show who actually started. He left his wife and started fucking these strippers. Somehow... These strippers in their little town fuck the people, which I'm trying to find out where that <laughs> is. This town. Yeah, oh, get a summer home. But he goes, he says, ah, you know, my boy is going to introduce me to his his girlfriend's friend. She, f- he goes out this 23 year old. He fucks this 23 year old girl who is bisexual who now had a threesome with or is oh, gonna yeah. is gonna oh, getting ready to have a threesome course. with him and sure, the friend sure, sure. who the other girl the other one's 21. Miss Miguel. Uh, it's like Miguel, right? Not this is not Miguel. This is oh. my, my friend. And now, how do you go back to your your forty right. eight year old right. wife? Yeah. Her ass looks like a garbage bag full of shoe boxes, <laughs> dents and corners everywhere. Long nipples. Long ass <laughs> nipples. Titties look like a tennis ball in a sock. <laughs> nipples pointing straight down, and you just how do you? I'm like he's done. Even if my technique would have gotten them back together, it's done now because the you know Pandora's box is open. <laughs> it's just done. Right. So I mean, I think given the opportunity, you don't you know you you see what people are really made of. And so when you say go on this kind of pussy spree, it's important because if you don't yeah. have the opportunity, you go okay. I guess I better. This, I guess, this one I... Uh, yeah, because no, uh, that's all you're conditioned to believe. Gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. Gotta, yeah, gotta, yeah. It might not happen again. Gotta, 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 gotta. Yeah. It's all the nervous, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like no, you no. feel like you won the lotto. Yeah. Uh, exactly. This and it's too ridiculous, much, yeah. yeah. I feel like I'll never be in another 13-girl orgy. I don't <laughs> think it will happen again. <laughs> the most I've ever heard of is eight. Yeah. I had a, uh, I had a, my older brother had a picture and it was him. He had pictures no, of the was, orange. He had, 
<laughs> he had uh, it was That's seven. The old school it orgy, no video game. Polaroid, just Polaroids, the seventies. And so he's got it's him on the bed. They're taking a break. He's in the middle, and there are three on one side and three on the other side. And he's sitting there with his arms around them, and they're all just naked, smiling at the camera and waving. And everybody would go, "Oh wow, six naked women!" And he'd love to go. The seventh one took the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the only one with anything to lose. God, life was great before the internet. Oh, he goes, the eighth one was shaking the Polaroid. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, she was out there <laughs> shaking like a Polaroid picture. But him, uh, though, he had friends. They were, he's a lot older than me. And so when I'm 18, they're all 30. Right, right, And right. they're running around. Oh, that's doing, why you're out of your fucking hoard, yeah, yeah, they're doing horde dog crazy shit. But he would let my friends come over. We would leave high school at 3 o'clock on a Friday and go over. And I could bring a couple of dudes with me. He had a big apartment. Right. And so we would hang out with the 30-year-olds with fake IDs. We're roaming the bars in Birmingham, Alabama, wow. drinking oh, drinks. God. And he's telling them to tell. Now, did you, you, you know, were you getting laid and stuff at that time? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. I, was, I fucked a 24-year-old girl when I was 18. Wow. Because I told her... UAB's the big medical school there. So he would be in the apartment. We'd be cocktail, and my brother would be coaching us all up. Tell them you're going to medical school. <laughs> you might want to, they're going to ask, say, you know, I'd eat, you might want to say heart surgery. You might want to say, uh, <laughs> or a diet right? Maybe Did he have a, a, you know, a pointer you know, and a dry erasable? Oh, yeah. And he was always, oh, that's that fantastic. And if you order anything fucking fruity, you're never invited back here again. <laughs> yeah. It's something and something. And my friends would go, what do you mean something and something? Just I, do I don't want to hear Tom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Vodka tonic, bourbon and coke. If I hear fucking Tom Collins come out of your mouth, or if yeah. I got something frozen, you are not welcome back here. You are not welcome back here. You are going to give yourself away. Put on a like, fucking sport jacket. It was like so Big Joe and Reservoir Dogs oh, wow. sitting everybody Perfect. down beforehand. And we'd go, we would, and we'd go out and Why do I have somebody to be podiatry? Because you're a faggot, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but he would literally coach them all up and wow. coach us all up and help us, and we'd go hang out, and we'd go back down. We would tell everybody, it was a week of campaigning to get to see who we get to go so next week. So if you had you had that kind of experience, how did you get pressured into marriage? That's like, I tell you, now, I really liked her. She was really smart and funny. Both the women I married are really smart and funny. Mm -hmm. And so I, I get in, I fall, I get into the, well, I can just have an intellectual conversation with my equal here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him laughing. Surely yeah. to God, surely well, to God, we can come to some common ground. Wait, so clearly. <laughs> so, no. and, you well, know, I can't no. foresee her turning on me immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it just depends on you know. I probably really a lot of my friends at the time were getting married. So all it took was a little. Oh, so bit it wasn't of, just the pressure of, of them. Of, it yeah, was it a was, little bit of pressure from her and a little bit of tears and me hanging out with her for almost five years at that point and thinking, yeah. well, what the fuck am I afraid of? I'll try this. Even though, but there, nowhere in there was, oh, we should really get married. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There was I a little more of that with the next one than the first one. I say one that right. to women all the time. If a guy is not, if a guy, and I say this to guys, I, I, a couple of guys, I've been doing these phone consultations. The guys would be like, you know, I, I, I'm tr trying to tell, you know, should I tell her either we are in a relationship? No. Why would you ask a woman to be in a relationship? If she's not asking you for a relationship, then she doesn't want one. Mm. It, it's it works both ways too. Everything is if they're not asking for it, they don't want it. So if a woman sure. wants an engagement, sure. if he's not bringing it up, he doesn't want to be married to you. Right. If he if he's not going, listen, we should get married. He don't want he don't want to get married. Right. Yeah. What? But what if a girl is like scared of fucking it up? Like they're never scared of fucking it up. Yeah. The, all they do is fuck it up, Mara. Not about that. All they do is handle a when can is of gasoline. When a woman ever gone? Um, I don't want to stay. I don't want to be too selfish. So, <laughs> I'm not, it's never happened. It's it's. I've been with you for eight yeah, yeah, years, yeah, yeah, yeah. and this is ridiculous. I'm not getting it. It's never. Right, right, it's right. it's always. They it's always al have their list of demands ready. They're just waiting and for the why? hostage and the camera. Have you ever seen somebody go? I don't want to fuck this up, Mara. Ever you? I mean, you asked the question, but I don't think you thought about it. Yeah, no, I have. All my broken friends. <laughs> Your broke friends, I don't want to fuck it up. I'm going to just keep stuck in this cop. Where are your friends? How come I haven't met any of your fucking goofy friends? my supermodel <laughs> roommate? Oh, yeah. Really. I, would check, I would check with a couple of my friends I that were married, once. and they're still married, a couple of them out of the group. And I'm same thing. I'm like, are I'm getting a little heat. The two, the two that are still married, married the right women, and they're great. They've been great for a million years. But now mm. some of the others in the group who at the time were married were going, no, no, and then they have since fallen apart. And you I don't know, think I don't, I don't think this is a, a such thing know. as the right woman. 
Well, yeah, I, I know good couples when I see them. They've been together for a long time. They don't seem you, to have any know, trouble. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I think a woman is. Oh, I know. think there are some women that are a lot easier. You know, to just right. easier to deal with. But I think it's the guy that fucks it up, not because he fuck he fucks it, but if he. I, I I know a guy that married this. Uh, he, I actually, <laughs> I, he was a guy who used to work with me on the phone company. He was one one a young kid. He had like this little Dominican girl. We used to go to this breakfast Dominican spot, and he he was like, um, uh, yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know, she's in there. I want to talk to her. I go, okay, so look, we're gonna go in, just go and talk to her and ask her if you could take her out. He I go, I'm going to the truck. I go sit in the truck. He goes, he comes back out. He goes, uh. Oh, she was busy. So he's scared. I said, okay, so here's what we're going to do. You either go back in and ask her to dance, or otherwise you can come back in the truck and fight me. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, um, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> goes, My brother he, used to do shit like that to me. He did. You got, I mean, My it's, older it's, brother, he's 12 years older than me, but same one I'm talking about. He did. Yeah. And it worked every yeah, time. Sure. Oh, I started. I quit doubting him. I was like, oh, yeah, goddamn, I should have thought of myself. <laughs> Sorry you have to keep coaching me up on this, Terry. But it, every fucking time I went back, it worked every single All the time. time. He asked the girl. And, you know, she, you know. He said, he said, you know, I want to take you out next Thursday on payday. She, and she didn't speak. She, she spoke three words of English. She goes, now? You want to take now? <laughs> she was like, no, next week. Yeah. He goes, he ends up marrying her. Their first argument, like, because she was like 19. <laughs> Gray eyes, hourglass, just fucking Coke bottle body, just ridiculous. Their first argument was uh, he washed his dish and she was angry because he didn't, she didn't think that he thought she was woman enough to take care of her man. That was their first argument. Uh. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, that's good. That'll bring it to your teeth. Five years later, yeah, say, yeah. <laughs> she's cheating on him and calling him a faggot. Yeah, exactly. The whole family's living in their house. Yeah. He's, he's Little dogs, chihuahuas. Chihuahuas all over the fucking place. <laughs> yeah. The kid is telling his Salsa son, music. His, Nobody knows where it's exactly. coming from. <laughs> Multiple Jesus but, figurines. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> just, but everybody's selling fucking chuletas out of the fucking backyard. Why does it all yes. smell like barbecue? I don't see anybody barbecuing. Yeah. It just smells like barbecue. You in here. <laughs> Fucking, I go, how did you fuck this up? How did you fuck this? Your first argument, I remember yeah, the right. first time. She got so angry at me because I washed my sure. own dish. Right. I go, dude, you, you, so you can fuck, you can get a great girl oh, and, yeah. Just, yeah, and yeah. fuck it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just fuck it up. Because you just, I, I go, I don't even know. But he was the type of dude that could fuck anything up, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special kind he of stupid. He could destroy. He could tear up a steel oh. ball. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people can't tear up a steel ball. How did you break this? <laughs> it's a fucking wrecking it? ball. How did you break mm. a wrecking ball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What so, do you got going on now, Vic? What's it like now? I just got off the road for three months, practically. Mm. So I'm uh, I'm here for the yeah, next few weeks, and then it's going to start back up again. But you ain't got no, no check. Special oh, uh, I'm dating a girl. She lives in Cleveland. I, I, I do well with women in other cities. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really know you. <laughs> well, you just, it, it, she, she, no, she's a, a mom and got a bunch of kids and has very little free time. And so, oh, okay. You know, yeah, so so how the requirements often, of me are not a lot. Is what I'm saying. That's, how do you? Really how often do you get out to Cleveland? How do you, uh, how do you make comes, that happen? She was here last weekend. She comes. Oh, to okay. Me a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, okay. I mean, oh. no, we're making. We're, we're just been going on for like three years. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. so, yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. How often do you see it? Like it, it, it changes all the time, but at least at least once a month. Sometimes way more than that. Wow. You know, that's not bad. That's a great situation. It's probably, she is covered up with children and really busy, like ninety hours a week. Right, right. So over the course of a month, if she can get a weekend so here, she and there can with hang me, out with you and, and, and mommy, have a, mommy needs a spa weekend <laughs> and have yeah. a, have a drink and a fucking yeah. movie. Right, She's that's like, it. This Dream is, come, yeah, me too. Though, yeah, yeah, to take a Saturday night off and not do anything and yeah, on the road yeah, for yeah. thirty years, fucking traveling for both of us to sit right there scratching our asses, having a cocktail and watching, you know, whatever American Sniper. Good for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. so. I hate no, it's the same thing. It's it's uh, it's pretty good. It's low maintenance. And you wouldn't get married again. Never, right? never, no, no, <laughs> no never. matter. Why. Probably not. I don't see any need in it. Yeah, I mean, oh, he just a, said never, and then probably not. Well, well you never say oh. never. he's never thinking about that. some circumstance. <laughs> well, I need a kidney. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I don't know. You know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I need some dependency <laughs> offset you know, the Repub- taxes. Republicans take control. They re- rescind all the insurance. Nothing. He's a comic. He's got nothing. <laughs> right. yeah, as a dude, you exactly. have to have some type of backup plan. <laughs> right. That's the beauty of being totally. a dude is you have to have <laughs> yeah. all the things covered. What about the apocalypse? Yes. <laughs> when I moved in with my when I moved in with the ex, I, all you had to do was uh, have a bank account together, and she could get you on their insurance. Wow. And uh, yeah, because they were gay friendly, and it uh-huh. became a domestic partnership thing. <laughs> and I was telling my family in Alabama, I'm like, I've got insurance now. I've got insurance. I can't. I'm like, God bless the gay people. Yeah. <laughs> and my mom's like, Quit saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Oh, I didn't know you were homophobic. I just thought you were racist. Yeah. <laughs> so, She's like, No, surprised. bless your little I, heart. I, I, I'm, I'm both. I'm both. Your heart. I don't like black queers either. I don't like <laughs> <laughs> if you just keep the black queers away from me, like the joke with the grandfather. Oh, that's her dad. Oh, <laughs> that's her dad. Oh, Vince, we're we gonna take. We, we're gonna do some um, listener mail. You wanna hang out say, and help yeah. us out? Sure. sure All right, let's absolutely. let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This pill. This pill. Uh, first, love the show and all yours. Keep up the good work. I haven't heard all the episodes, but I'm making my way through. Here's my problem. I'm talking to this girl. We knew each other since elementary school. We went different ways after that, but we met up again years later. She has two kids now. That's not a problem for me. Just giving backstory. This relationship is just starting off. I told her uh, the truth of what I wanted and told her that I just don't want to be only friends. We hung out a few times. I haven't slept with her yet. Kind of flaky. Fast forward. We get to a point when I... Got to tell her that she's my number. She has my number. You should call me if you want to chill. That that was a week ago. Should I just delete her number and move on or power through? Please email, email me back or answer on the show. Thanks so much, fam. Okay, mm. so he, he, he met this chick, went out with her, and then he started pushing for the relationship. There's the first. We just covered that. Yeah. Stop asking <laughs> for a relationship. Trust me, if she's not asking you about where, I, I, what is this? I think what? it's some dude's tactful way of asking for the pussy. <laughs> Well, you know, has- you're, you're kind of tactfully, you're saying, uh, you know, yeah. can, can we be together? That's a very tactful, smooth way that, of saying, I want to fuck you. I don't want you fucking somebody else. Can we fuck? Is the- doesn't this fall under friend zone category, though? Yeah. yeah I mean, well, first of all, I don't know nobody that fishes without putting some on the sure. hook. Right, yeah. So you got to give up a little pussy before you fucking, you're not going to get a relationship out of me with you're not you're not gonna fuck me in my relationship you gotta fucking bait the hook right right I, i've always said that i agree why why yeah. would i why it won't I, run me off no, no <laughs> if you want me to stick around like, oh my god yeah. fucking me no. i gotta leave i have this i have disagreed with it he'll think i'm a whore no no, no i'll no. think you are great sexually <laughs> <laughs> i will learn if we're compatible about a key component <laughs> you ever go to you ever go to cats delicatessen and they cut off a little bit i love it well, well, yeah okay. Let's do this. Can't wait for this. Um, So I think he's pushing for this already. Um, This chick is not calling him. She didn't fuck you. Yeah, forget the number. What? I mean, I don't even understand what the question is. She's not even engaged in this situation. Doesn't seem to be. He hasn't got one ounce of positivity back. Yeah, and what would make... I mean, you'd think just because you want a relationship, you, you... Here's the first thing. Jesus Christ. But he's I mean, saying the relationship is just starting off, meaning like there's something he's going feeling, on. He's feeling, he, he said he knew her in elementary school, so he's reconnected with her. He felt a little spark. He's probably bought her a couple of dinners or done. So he says they've hung out a little. Mm. And through that, he's wanting to, hey, let's, let's go. He's floating the idea. Hey, let's do, 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 do. But she's not coming back across. <laughs> You gave her the ultimatum. <laughs> Look, stop. First of all, stop asking for a relationship. Trust me. If yes. you're doing the yes. right thing, she will let. She yes. will make it clear. Right. Women are never shy about that. I, I'm giving you this pussy. Uh, you need to make a decision. That's never going to not happen. Not always happens. And yes. if she's going, no, no, you should see other people. She's not going. You know what? I was just making sure that you get enough pussy. A woman never does that. If she likes you, she's trying to cut your pussy down. Make sure you don't fuck nobody else. Right. She's pushing the she's pushing the envelope about the relationship. And so if you're not getting any positive feedback again, move on. Yeah. But you should be doing that anyway. This yeah. is the problem. This is why I always say lay the five bricks. You have to have options. If you're out there every day, if we we have this thing, Vic, where we say talk to five women a day. 
it removes the the it's just like with comedy getting on stage sure. you get on stage right. you get past the fear yeah. of getting it all becomes no, easier right. Absolutely. and then and you learn things in yeah. the process but if you if you got one situation if you if you got one chip one quarter and you put it in the in the, in the slot machine and you're hoping for cherries dude, you can't short money don't make money nope you got to be you got to have options and opportunities and in the process of having these options talking five talking to five women a day laying the five bricks you have to understand that this is not for you to win you're not talking to five women to win you're talking to five it's just like getting on stage you just you have to put the time in and you become more proficient with time it's this this i've, I've had this question a lot where a guy, I have this girl. She's beautiful. I, you're already lost. You've already lost. You don't have the constitution to even manage this chick. You've already put her on a pedestal. Um, so you already have made her understand that she has more value than you. You don't think that you're worthy, but just through your words, you don't think you're worthy of her anyway. Yeah. So it's only a matter of time till you fuck this up, till you let her know that you think she's better than you. You should be. Hey, look, you want to keep talking, you can talk to. But if you're talking to five women a day, then you don't have time to sit around and wait for this chick to call you back. You should be moving and shaking. Do anyway. you think that um, people are just because they can't seem to give up on it? Do you think that people are just fantasizing things that happen? Absolutely. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have an ideal she's, that's unrealistic. She, she's yeah. my. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. she's my soulmate. Yeah. Nobody's your fucking soulmate. No such thing. I was walking home from the strip the other night, and I didn't even—I haven't seen hookers in ages <laughs> in Manhattan. And I'm on the Upper East Side. It's like three thirty in the morning. Hookers. They're in a Beamer. They're in a Beamer sedan, and it's like three thirty in the morning. And I'm walking along. There's nobody on the street but me up Third Avenue. And I hear, "Hey, want to have a party?" And I turn around. It's like two Russians smoking hot in cocktail dresses in this Beamer sedan, rolling along the street next to me. And I, I'm just start dying laughing immediately because it's been so long since right, I've right, seen right. hookers. And then, but the lights change, and, and I turn around, and I'm like, and they said, you want to have a party? How about the three of us? And I start cackling with laughter, and I look at them, and they're like, what? I go, y'all can't afford me. No. <laughs> I turned around, made the turn, and that's what he's talking about. Yeah, 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 you yeah. talk to enough women, you feel comfortable enough right. with women around you your entire right. life. You, that's your first thought. You're never going to be shy to say anything. Right. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's being a smart ass to a hooker or a girl at the laundromat or something. You just become easy and What did they do when you said you can't afford They started, they laughed their asses <laughs> off. And sped up and made the turn at Lady Six Street, you know. But yeah, they laughed really. I could hear them uh, yeah, laughing yeah, 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 as yeah. they turned in front of me. I could hear yeah. both of them laughing through the fucking windows, and I was like, "All right, I made the hookers laugh." <laughs> <laughs> I got I to be a dick and, and made came, the hookers and they came laugh. Around, like, no, no, nothing, nothing happened. No. <laughs> but yeah, there's always this kind He's of like fan. nothing happened. I got a girl. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta. You, they do fantasize about it, and you put these person on yes. a pedestal. You don't know them. She don't. The same way she's nonchalant. And she don't give a fuck about you You should not give a fuck about her You don't know her You don't know You haven't yeah. slept with he her He thinks he's missing out on something He has no idea He has no, he idea. no idea The, the fucking The fucking sex could be garbage She could be awful Toothy head job Fucking <laughs> Bushy pussy the Feels like you're fucking a cheese grater You don't know You just think Cause she's Looks like pristine And Whatever. Who gives a fuck? Not only that. Toothy let's, let's not. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than a toothy blowjob. Nothing worse than a toothy blowjob. Mm. Toothy blowjob. Terrible. Dude. Have you all had one? Of... Toothy blowjobs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. We've all had one. Dude dude has especially one. in the South? Come on. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy, bitchy. Actually, no teeth. no teeth. There'd be no teeth like, blowjob from the South. The party's like, how is it toothy? You only got three. How'd you right. manage to get all right. of them on my dick? Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. You got you got three. I told you, hit the gap, motherfucker. Hit the gap. <laughs> yes. This bitch is a prodigy. She gave a toothy blowjob with three teeth. Yeah, the dude. Which is amazing. It's called West Virginia on a Tuesday. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I, I think that. You got any more? You got more for me? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, da, da, da. I'm in a relationship of three months. The girl kind of rushed me into being her boyfriend. I wasn't uh. ready and kind of took my time to claim the title. I do want to be her boyfriend now, but she seems closed down because of my bad communication issues recently mm -hmm. and in the past. It's sometimes I've always... In something I've always struggled with, I'm working on trying to explain why that is, but it makes me feel like I'm qualifying myself. She never wants to talk about it, and as of right now, we are on a very, very light talking terms. 
She was very expressive when we started and now she's extra closed up. I want her and want it all back. I just don't know how to do it. She told me to fix it and all I can think of is bidding war, but I don't know how. Please help. Okay, so he he, he was talking to this, she he was closed she down. was she was like having the relationship talk to him before he was ready for it. Right. He accepted the the title of without boyfriend really without accepting being it. sincere. Okay. There was no integrity in his acceptance. Very good, Mara. Uh, yeah, but then, then she shuts down is his next sentence. Right. But then he took it, like, yeah, because he wasn't acting like a boyfriend and he was acting out. Right. Probably. And then she got... And then she got pissy and stepped back and now he's... Now he wants to be the boyfriend when she has stepped back. Yes, obviously, because she's <laughs> stepping back. So here's what I would do. I would go, listen, uh, I want us to work this out. Um, I really like you. I, I think that maybe we might have had some some problems in the front end. But wait, before I say that, let me say this. I hate to hear I'm working on it. Um, if you're not being talk, you're not being talkative. If you're not expressing your feelings, the difference between expressing your feelings and not expressing your feelings is deciding to. Whenever I hear somebody say I'm working on it, it's always means that they're not doing shit. Or they're not doing things when the opportunity comes to do it. You're either doing it or you're not. The, the analogy that I use all the time, baby you walking. got a little baby walking. When the baby sits, he's sitting. When the baby stands, the baby's standing. Right. When the baby takes a step, the baby's walking. They may be walking poorly. They may be doing a, sh- a shitty job of it, but they're walking. There's no transition between standing and walking. It's either you're doing it or you're not doing it. So if you're saying, I want to express my feelings, then just express your feelings. Just do it. Just say, this is how I feel. This is the, 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 the anticipation and the fear of, oh, what if I say this or what if I say that? Then that means you're not doing it. Secondly, if he's really sincere and this chick, she forced him into the relationship in the first place. I think he should be sincere back and say, listen, you, we, we're in this relationship. I want to work this out. Do you want to work it out? And if she's acting funky, bounce. Go have, go start. Right. Say, look, yeah, I'm yeah, done. Yeah, 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 for I'm sure. Done. Easy, easy. If you don't see the light flick on, if she feels the same way you do, and you're going to move forward together, you know. Right, now, because what she's doing, the tit for tat. You can do that for the rest of your... You can yeah, be married and be doing the tip for Exhausting. Time. So it's either you're going <laughs> to fix it or you're not going to fix it. Exhausting. If you're not going to fix it, then move on. And and st- it, the reality is that he didn't want the relationship in the first place. Right. So, and, you know, look... Do you I, think he actually wants it now? I don't or, think or it's so. just because it's just because she's pulled because back. Because she's pulled back now. He, not he talking. wants to. She said, what? fix it. That's, you know, like, walk, motherfucker, or don't, but fix it. So And then he got scared. <laughs> So that's yeah. another thing then, Mar. what you're saying is decide whether you don't fight for something that you re- don't really want. Your ego. I feel like he's in survival mode right now. Yeah. yeah and right. what happens yeah. is yeah. Your, your ego wants to be offended. Mm. So it's like, oh, you're leaving me and I, I'm going to work together. I don't want to lose this. And so you want to lose. You, you don't want to lose something that you didn't want in the first place. Like, when did this, when did he decide, okay, now I want to be in a relationship? When she started going fuck you I don't want right. I'm, I'm tired. tired of this yeah so it doesn't even sound like it's sincere but if it is sincere say listen are we gonna fix this I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna talk to you. we're gonna talk we're gonna open up and if not I'm done I'm not going through this back and forth and if she responds yes let's do it then you work it out but if she responds yes and doesn't and doesn't you know actually follow through and she's still acting funky then go look I'm done I'm out Leave. Go find somebody else. What is he? Twenty some years old? Something? I don't know. Yeah. Sounds. He said something about twenty years old. Is yeah. twenty? Well, I don't understand why you're trying to get a girlfriend at twenty years old. I mean, I did it, but fucking why? People want to have families. People want to do all that. It's better to have them when you're younger, because then whatever. It's just whatever. People's choices are whatever. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. I don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't know where that's from. Who wanna fucking whatever? <laughs> fucking about Marvin. Marvin's Marvin so deep sometimes. <laughs> you just it's just fucking <laughs> It depends on what you grow up believing in. You grow, little girls grow up believing in Barbie and Cinderella and all this, and guys believe in, well, I'll get a job and get married and have a couple of kids, and 
We'll retire in the suburbs, and people will love that shit. <laughs> so <laughs> I, boring. I, I guess. It is boring. Yeah. And I didn't say I get it. I, that was going back choice. to my lunch table conversation. I got to get out. <laughs> that's who I knew. That's what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, but some it, people are happy like that. No, like, they we want need to do jan- that. They like it. Yeah, you know? we need janitors. We need engineers. We need all types of people in this world. Right? We some, need women, some women just want to have kids because there is such a thing as the maternal instinct. Sure. They, you, you I wanna, know. They want to have kids. Two days reason. a month I want to have them, and the rest of the time I'm like, <laughs> the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> Do you have any kids from either marriage? No, no. She does have a pet rock. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I think it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to feed it. Right. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, is it, we, we have time for one more if we want to do one. I don't have one. Oh, I, got, I do have, I have one. one. Okay. I have one. Okay. Dante has one? Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, let me get it up. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought... <laughs> Uh, I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, usually we're trying to fit them in. We, we happen to be able to have a little extra time today. Yeah, um, to, to answer. I didn't Shout out to my help friends. Oh, you got it? First, love the show and all yours. Of keep, course you do. Why wouldn't you? Keep up the good work. I haven't heard all of the episodes, but I'm making my we way. We just read that one. Is that what we just read? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, all right. So I got another one. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, 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 phone consultation. I got to I want to. Uh, six years in anger problems. Did you read that? No. I don't know. It doesn't sound Hey, Mage Phillip, I'm a long time listener. I love the show. I've been with the, with the mother of my child for six years now. I've cheated in the past, and she's messed around too. We've been on and off for the past three years, and it seems like she gets mad at everything. I say and at everything I say and I do. If she doesn't, if she doesn't like it. I've been trying to figure out figure it out, but I can't seem to put my finger on it. She brings up the past to create arguments, and she feels as if I'm messing around on her still. She's always quick to say she's done and all this bull, but I I know she wants me at the end of the day. At the end of the at, day. At the end no. of the day. <laughs> no, no, no. She but at the at the same time, I feel like she's messing around on me, and she just won't admit it. How do you deal with a bipolar, overprotective, and insecure female? First of all, you're assuming that she's bipolar and insecure. You you already have a history of both of you cheating. So there's no trust there anyway. Here's the difference. What's interesting is that he's not bringing... She's actually bringing up the fact that he cheated, and he's not bringing up the fact that she cheated. Right. Yeah. Um, Because as guys, you don't... Like, if you... If you're going to go, look, if you fuck some other dude and I take you back, then it's my responsibility to get over it. Yep. It, otherwise, I wouldn't take you back. Right. But that's not what women do. Women will take you back, spend the rest of the relationship assaulting your character. From the past with from facts that you either gave, gave them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you gave them, they found them. Hanging you with your own rope. And a, yep, com- yep, and a combination yep. of both. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But here's, here's the problem. When you get, when you cheat... Or when you get caught cheating, uh, just friends of mine have cheated, mm-hmm. not me. Sure, no, of course but not. <laughs> not that I'm aware of. No. And uh, it's not the Dante I know. <laughs> when uh, when that happens, you ha- you gotta leave because yeah. she wants that pound of flesh. Yep. She wants to get that pound of flesh, and if you are not willing to give it. Then you got to move on. Move I feel on, like you know, be good to your kid. Yeah, show up on time. Do whatever you're supposed to do. Be good to the kid. Be good to your and kid. eliminate the psychosis. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> and be a dad. The, Channel the energy that she's wasting. Right. And do whatever. Get the fuck away from psycho. And, and be if good you're to gonna, your kid. and if you're gonna go back with her and you're gonna be with her, then you have to set these boundaries. Here's a situation where a guy, first of all, you, you're getting high on your own supply. You're assuming that she wants to be with you. Um, she might yeah, hate. The, yeah, she the she the might day. hate the fact that she loves you, and she's just assassinating your character until you she punks you enough hmm. so that she can leave. Which sounds like what she's doing to me. Any we're doing to him yeah, anyway. Right. So like this is this goes to the reason why I believe that after cheating, nobody leave. Women, women never leave. Um, there's a, I'll explain it because I've explained it and you know so somebody doesn't have to go over it again. The reason why a woman doesn't leave after you cheat is because a woman only dates a guy who she thinks is better than him, better than her. She also f- finds a man attractive. A woman always finds a man attractive who other women find attractive. So when you cheat on her, it's the perfect storm of both those things. You are proving to her that other women find you attractive and... 
you are uh, you are also raising your value by the fact that more women not only have you do other women find you attractive, but you've actually fucked one. So you're proving that th- that other women find you attractive and your value is high. The difference between men and women when when a man cheats, uh, when a, when a woman cheats on a man, the man goes that stinking ass whore. When, when a man cheats on a girl, the woman goes he's a dog. But in her mind, she goes, "Why wasn't I woman enough to keep him?" So she she lowers her self esteem, and y- your your value is raised. Her self esteem is lowered, and so she can't leave. That's why she doesn't leave. Mm. But what she will do is she will stay with you and spend the rest of the relationship yeah. assassinating your cower, your character, doing everything that she could possibly do to, to punk you. And then when you finally start begging, please, I love you. Let's just start over. Let's can we go? Then, then she goes, leave you. Right. you faggot. Yeah, I'm leaving. It. Right. <laughs> so, right. so I'm gonna wear you down to nothing yeah. until I feel like I. Yeah, because then I'll be above you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and now I can leave. And now right. I can out. And now now, now I can it's reverse. Now, now I can now I'm on I can top. Leave. Now I can leave yeah. with my head held high. <laughs> 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 now I can act like I did something. I, I can walk out of here like the classy bitch yeah. that I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I can. And finally finish waiting to exhale. <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally I can show this piece of shit uh, exactly. who I really am. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I can finally. go to Jamaica, get my groove back. <laughs> yeah. Finally. The whole so thing. that so this is this what sounds like what's going on. She hasn't been able to break him, and so she hates the fact that she right, loves him. Right, right. And she's 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 the, she's, the fact that she's still engaging him she, a little bit is where he goes, I think she wants me there at the yeah, end of the yeah, the beat on. Yeah, right. <laughs> So, I feel like it's the same answer that we just talked about with the married guy. He, she says, "I want a divorce." He said, "He goes, there you go, have it, yeah, have it." Yeah, he should have it. She yeah. said, "I'm done." Uh, yeah, you say, just, "Okay, yeah. okay." She's too, I'm done. He said, "She's too quick Later. to say I'm done." And if the she's next so time quick, she says yeah. it, bye, bye. Listen, and girl, bye. Here's why. Bye, Here, let me, let me. It's, I don't the want to play Tunisia. chess anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play chess anymore. So you know what I did? I took my forearm and smashed the table. So now there's no chess for I anybody. Will, I will Bye, flip Felicia. a chessboard. I will yeah. flip a chessboard in a minute. Mm-hmm. I will do that. Yeah, I'll go. Absolutely. Uh, oh, uh, queen to bishop seven. Blah! Yeah. <laughs> wow. well, I don't know what the pieces were. Take right. that, Kasparov. Right. <laughs> so I, I think what he has to, what he has to do is I think he's getting high on his own supply because he's he's feeding off the fact if she's ready the, the simple fact that she's so quick to be done um it's disrespectful if you so if she's so quick to be done then you have to you got to call yeah, her bluff yeah, and yeah. Say, he's probably always off. reacting though to that oh, and sure. so that I mean, always works right so but you when but you have to understand something a woman is not going to find a man attractive and she's not going to trust a man who's indecisive and allows him him it's her to disrespect him and, and if he him. and control him and if the fact that he's not a man of his word if she goes I'm done it needs to be done yeah I would either I, I often very often, my comment throughout my life, when that came up, I'm like, I'll give you one of those. I'm just pointing out to you right now. I'm giving you one of those. You better than me. I don't think you really meant what you just said, but if you ever say that to me again, I will be gone in a second. But don't be just throwing out, don't be throwing yeah, yeah. to get the fuck yeah. out of here yeah, I don't if do you don't that. mean it. Well, like, most of the time, I don't. About right. 50 50, I would give you the speech. You'll give them one. You'll give them one. But, but no, not, but the other 50 of the time, uh-uh, fuck gone. Right? They think I'm going to the bathroom and I'm knocking on the restaurant window waving out right. on the sidewalk. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> no, I've done, that, I've done that several times. Yeah. You, you don't appreciate like, what you're. Oh, really? Okay, hang on. I got to pee. Knock, knock, knock on the glass. Oh, ah. What I say is, <laughs> I at least pay the check. I pay the check. I don't leave. Them with this the is check. what we say. Oh, Vegas. leave the check. I don't leave this is what check. we say, Vegas. We go. We go. She goes. You know, I need some time to sort this out. No problem. And I just about, throw a calendar oh, at her. Yeah. The rest of your life. How about the rest of your life? Yeah, exactly. Is that enough time? How about all the time? How about man? all of it? All the time. How about want. all of the time? The rest of your life. Right. So I, I think that's what's going down. She she doesn't respect you because she wouldn't be done. I don't. I've never dealt with no girl when she was done. Only one that was ever done was my ex-wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. And sure. when she was like done, I was like, and she said, "I'm, I'm done." I was like, "Okay, bitch, be done." And that's the last time we spoke. My, uh, I mean, my, we spoke about six years. My later, second but. ex-husband, he was like, "If you don't come home tonight, we're done." I was like, "Okay, bye." Yeah. <laughs> See ya. See, ya. Right. See you later. Usually, the response to any ultimatum is no. I know. Well, even if you don't want to. 
Because they're showing you a lot about themselves. Anybody that throws an ultimatum on you constantly, right. the only response to an ultimatum is the op- you have to, you, well, yeah. they, well, yeah. even if it's not good for you, yeah. you that when you get when the ultimatum card's played, fuck you, then we're calling out <laughs> calling out on the ultimatum. Right, yeah. So, yeah. That shouldn't mm. be in the arsenal. No. No, if you're yeah. trying to communicate and get along, it shouldn't be. Right. If you're, if yeah. you're trying to. It shouldn't right. be lying in the sand every time. If lying in the sand trying. and fuck. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah. Right, right. Bye. See you. <laughs> <laughs> Life's too short. I, I like this side of the beach anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Vic, thank you for coming, oh, brother. My pleasure. I uh, go to Brooklyn gotta, once a year. We gotta do a <laughs> we gotta do a shot of something. Do you okay. like scotch? I, I like Woodford. You yeah, I like we can do the Woodford. Gotta, I, I'm not a Scotch guy. Ron drinks the Scotch on the tour. Yeah, of but us, I just got this honey oh, Scotch. I'll, it's not. That's the only thing that shouldn't be honey fired. It's good. There's it's honey actually fired. good. Yeah, I'm honey, gonna do, of all the honey trends, that's the only one I thought that I didn't do some plugs while we do that. I thought it was like the old prior bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anything you want to plug? I'm at the Comic Strip Live in the cellar in Gotham for the next three weeks. Okay. Into, into April 18th, I'm at the theater in Madison Square Garden with Ron White. Oh, awesome, Oh, wow, man. nice. So, yeah, April 18th, Vic, Saturday I wanna, night. I want to come. I, can I come? You I can love, come I love Ron White, yeah, dude. Totally. I really yeah, yeah. love that, Just, dude. Yeah, hit me up, and I'll put you on the list. Um... <laughs> I don't know anybody in this town that's bothered me for free tickets. So <laughs> I, I, def- I want to go see Ron White. That's it's good. It's, that's a good it's a good tour. It's a good show. It's a good show. He's yeah, doing a great yeah, job. He's it's really beast, funny. man. He's a yeah, beast. Yeah. One of my favorite comics. Dude. Yeah, he's written a bunch of new stuff. It's all really good. He just shot a pilot for Showtime for Cameron Crowe. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Oh, wait, nice. It's about roadies. It's called Roadies. It's about backstage at rock and roll shows and... Uh, we're, they're hoping that Showtime's going to pick it up. J.J. Abrams is a okay. executive producer along with Cameron Crowe, and Cameron Crowe wrote and directed the pilot. Oh, oh Jesus. wow, wow. So, so what so about ho- your Twitter? Ho- What's your Twitter and how can they get you at website? Vic Henley, it's at Vic Henley and VicHenley.com. And I don't, need, I don't do anything, so if you go on there, you're not going to find anything. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I've gained 300 followers by not tweeting in three years. <laughs> That's all I know. Nice. Somebody right, told fair me enough. That. Nice. Mara, talk to me, baby. You can always find me at MaraLive.com or through our website, BeigePhillip.com, or through our network, right? Podcast.com. All of shout out to Rob Sprantz. Good. What's up, Harry? Talk to uh, me. You can always go to my website, IHateComedy.com. That's where everything is. And uh, find me at Twitter, at Harry Turjanian. Yeah. VicHenley.com has all my dates on there. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Okay. VicHenley.com, always. Dre, what up? Talk to me. Instagram, Twitter, Andre underscore D Thompson. Yes. Um, you can check me out on DanteNero.com. Everything at Dante Nero. Instagram, at Dante Nero the Comedian. Go on the website, BeigePhillip.com. Get all the links. You can follow everybody. Follow me on Twitter, at Dante Nero. Also, I'm doing those phone consultations. Um, you can hit me at Save Me Dante, S A V E M E D A N T E at gmail.com. Um, I've been helping dudes out. We're doing everything through PayPal. Um, G Y B B, get your balls back. B A B B, be a better bitch. The sexual revolution is being podcasted. I love y'all, man. Don't forget to to uh, rate and review us and um, and like us on Facebook too, and tell three friends, please. We are out of here. Love y'all. Uh, Who the hell shit it in my toilet?